All right, I'd like to actually finish answering that first question. Um, classic role modeling of bad examining or bad, bad examination technique. Um, they were actually asking us to determine with reasoning, so we have to give a reason for it, if the events, a person from this group earns at least 65 and a person from this group is under 65, are mutually exclusive. So let's finish answering the question. Um, mutually exclusive means that the events cannot happen together. So again, mutually exclusive can't both happen. So we'd basically say for mutually exclusive, the probability of A and the probability of B would be zero if they were mutually exclusive. So if they want us to test whether or not the probability or the events being under 65 and earning at least 50, K, are mutually exclusive, we can look at that. So if we're at least $50,000 and under 65, we just found that that probability was equal to 0 0.5917. So we would say this is not equal to zero. Therefore, the events of earning, I'll just abbreviate, at least $50,000 and under 65 are not, oops, not mutually exclusive. So to test mutually exclusive, again, you just have to see, can they happen together? And in this case, clearly, we've got 71 people who are both under 65 and earning at least $50,000.